Today was a day of several historic firsts for the city of Cohoes, including welcoming the first black female police officer in its history. Kumi Tucker takes us to the swearing in and promotion ceremony. Here at the Cohoes Music Hall in front of families filled with pride, Cohoes welcomed six new officers and made some history today. One by one, officers stood up to be sworn in by Cohoes police. Despite challenges for law enforcement these days, this city had 126 candidates. Though not the first females to serve here, three women are joining the department that is currently all men. Kyla Komprowski is ready to serve. All of it. <laughs> It's all just been interesting to me since I was a little kid and I've done two internships in Colony and here um, to kind of get a feel for it and I loved every second of it. I want to get to know people on a positive note, um, not just, you know, going to calls or, you know, I want to be able to be a positive face to the community. Shamara Hagray of Albany is making history. It's hard to kind of believe that I am the first black female officer and it's, it's exciting. Alejandro Peraza of Cohoes is the city's first Hispanic officer. Protecting and serving. Um, I mean, it, it's, it's a dream come true to be able to become a police officer in the city where I grew up in. There were also promotions. Matthew Orton, Kyle Pusey, and Michael Green. Bringing new officers in was done with the help of the Police Reform and Reinvention Collaborative. And that's what these new uh, officers understood. That's what each of them answered. Part of it is being out in the community, being involved in the community doing police work by all means, but also making those relationships with the people out there. They all want to be a part of doing walking beats, doing community events, and that's what we're looking for, is officers who want to do all of that. In Cohoes, Kumi Tucker, News Channel 13.